Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to part seven of my diamond painting gifts or gifts for diamond painters this holiday season. Maybe you have a diamond painter in your life and you're wondering, what do I get the diamond painter in my life? Or maybe you are that diamond painter and are wondering, what should I ask for for the holidays? Well, that's what this series is about, is just to feature a wide array of different diamond painting related gifts for people. This episode is about diamond painting projects that are not your normal diamond painting kits. So if you're looking for something that is, you love the diamond painting art, but doing a big canvas can feel overwhelming, this is what this episode is about. So this box came from the UK. Uh, it is from Craft Buddy, which is kind of like, it's a hobby store over there. They sell other craft related items in addition to diamond painting supplies. And let's open up this box. These are two different types of diamond painting projects that are not your normal traditional you know, spending hours and hours and hours working on one painting. So here we have a Peter, Peter Rabbit, Peter's Pudding Wreath. In my house, we love the Beatrix Potter stories. We have the whole series. My husband has read it to our children multiple times over. When I homeschooled my eldest for a while, I actually did a whole segment on Beatrix Potter. So when I saw this cute little holiday wreath, I really wanted to get it. Craft Buddy also has a ton of projects like this that are Disney licensed items. So if you are really big into Disney or Marvel, definitely worth checking that out. I'm trying to get this box open here. And again, I have mentioned it before, but because these are meant to be much faster, shorter videos, these are not going to be thorough unboxings like what I would normally do on my channel. This is just to give you an idea of products and companies or small businesses that maybe you have not heard of or have not familiar familiarized yourself with yet. All right, so in this kit... You get a very standard toolkit here. A couple of different things. You do have two drill pens, but both have a same three or four place placer on one end and the single placer on the other. You do have two of your special soft grips. You do have wax. It looks like there are, there might be two waxes inside of this container. And then you also actually have two trays in here to use. And then baggies. What do you need the baggies for? That is how you kit up. Here are all of your drills. As you can see, there are not many. You have some special drills that are also used in this kit. You know, this is just a tiny number of drills here. This is meant to be a super fast, fun kit to do. Here is your legend. And it shows you, even here, I like this, it shows you exactly where the crystal area is. So like the eyes are not in the crystal area. But here is your legend. Gives you approximate number of crystals, which is kind of helpful, I guess. Crystal code, it looks like they do use a standard DMC code. And then symbols. And because it's such a small kit, very basic symbols here. Alphabet only, upper and then lowercase some. So very standard symbols. 26, looks like there's 26 total colors in this kit. Here are instructions in several different languages. So you can work on your French or I could work on my German. Oh, that would be interesting. And here's the actual wreath. It is covered up in a film to protect all of the sticky parts on here. And then this is the back. It comes with a way to hold it up. And this lets you know too, Beatrix Potter, it is a copyrighted item. 
Oh, cute. But again, this just looks like a fun and, oh, wait, wait, wait. Check it out. Daughter number two just made me a deluxe hot cocoa, guys. Thank you, Veda. Super cute. And again, just a fun little project. And it's something else that's still diamond painting, but it's not doing one huge canvas. And this is something that is very easy to display in your home just during the holidays. I love it. It is this foldable village scene. Full crystals. Uh, is this double-sided? I can't remember if this is double-sided. But let's open it up and find out. Very similar concept to the Beatrix Potter one. Oh, this is cute. All right, so... It's not double-sided, which is fine. I don't need it to be double-sided. <laughs> what you could do is, if you wanted to, you could just display it like this. I mean, you can't see that real well because of the camera angle, but you could put it in a circle and then get like a electric, oh, and I just bumped you, and get like an electric candle to put in the center of it, maybe? That would be fun. So this is the whole like street layout here. It does look like I might have, yeah, I do have one broken hinge right here that popped off. So there is one broken little hinge here. I will have to see what I can do about fixing that. That's kind of a bummer. But otherwise, there is plastic on all of these that protect the drill area. And again, here are all of your drills. Oh, and there's another broken piece in here that I just saw. Here are all of your drills. Even for a piece, you know, this size, this is not very many drills at all. There are some crystals that are tucked back in there. And then I will show you, this is the other piece that fell off. The church lost its steeple. The church, and actually it's the church that's had trouble. So yeah, the church lost its steeple. That fell off. And that is where the latch came undone. Oh no. I don't know what kind of message this is sending about church guys, but that's unfortunate. I mean, it's minor, but still. This is a much smaller toolkit than what was with Beatrix Potter. So this must be an older item, would be my guess. But you don't need a large toolkit. This is still everything that you need in order to complete this. And again, here's your legend. Shows you a picture of what you're doing. This only has 24 colors, so two less than the Beatrix Potter. Super fun. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to work on fixing up this hinge and maybe see if I can glue this back on. Otherwise, I don't know that it's going to look right if I glue it on. And it broke off so clean. I'm thinking I'm just going to leave this as a church without a steeple. I mean, it still looks like a church, right? You got a bell. Or maybe I, I just made it the school. <laughs> maybe that's what I just did. Maybe this is now the school. Anyway, both of these kits, fun, they're cute, they're quick. This is a great gift idea, especially for a diamond painter that is really picky about the kind of stuff that they work on. This is so little that I think most anyone would be perfectly happy with getting a gift like this. It's cute and it's fast. So it's not like you've gotten a gift for someone and then they're expected to commit 40 hours to completing a painting that they don't even like. This would be done pretty fast. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this has been helpful for you. Like I always say, please practice kindness. It's the holidays. People get aggravated. You don't get you know, the item you want because it sells out and just be kind. It's just easier and better to be kind. And in return, I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you again real soon.